Hi, I'm Yasmin Vesugian. This is a Boom Gen TV special report. I'm actually here at the UN at one of the many rallies that are happening while Iran's President Ahmadinejad is here to deliver an address to the UN General Assembly. Uh, well, we're here from Toronto. We cycled from Toronto to, to New York. Uh, we left on Saturday and arrived last night. Basically, we're a cycling group. We're in a cycling uh, advocacy for human rights. And our goal was to raise awareness uh, about the violations of human rights in Iran. We were whispering, uh, I will say this actually in Persian. So we were whispering, Mardome Iran, Zendane Evin, Borojelo, Pabazan, which means people of Iran, even prison, and uh, go ahead and pedal and pedal. We're here to protest Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's pro uh, presence at the UN and to let him know that the world is watching and holding him accountable for the murder, torture and rape of the Iranian people that he has committed in the past three months. Actually, the main reason for me is my friends in Iran and the people who are getting tortured and they're just like in the ba having ha a bad time and I'm giving really, really great hope and like energy from them because all of these great things that they're doing in this green movement so I, I really want to participate in that and maybe just put back a little hope to their lives. So why are you here today? To bring awareness to the world uh, as to what's going on in Iran. 70% of Iran is under the age of uh, 30 and they're shedding blood and they're on the streets for the first time in 30 years. Uh, to show that we're against Ahmadinejad. Why are you here? The same thing. What about economic sanctions? Do you think that these governments should put economic sanctions on Iran? No, the blanket economic sanctions will have no effect but to cripple the people's lives and hurt them. We have seen that in many other cases. But if there can be targeted and very clearly pointed at government entities and particularly revolutionary guards' economic interests, then those kind of sanctions could have an impact. There is an economic sanction on Iran. All the pressure will go to the people of Iran. The government would see anything bad. It's a tough call. I'm not really sure about that. Um, I don't know, to be quite honest. Chairman! Tabri! Ardabil! Why are you covering your face? I don't want to be recognized. What, 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 what worries you? I just don't feel, just don't feel safe. I mean, in case I want to get back home. Yesterday when we came in and the, the whole grand entrance and what people did for us, I just realized that, you know, people go on the streets and throw stones at the guards and they're so brave and it's the least I can do to show my face to the camera and make sure people in Iran know that we Iranians outside of Iran are with them and are behind them in whatever they do. What about uh, the nuclear situation? Do you think that Iran should negotiate uh, its nuclear, nuclear program? Should have any nuclear weapons, including Iran. The, to talk to the go Iranian government right now, if they put the human rights problem in the speech, that's the most important thing. We like that the United States talk to Iran. The first step is about human rights. Then, of course, they want to talk about the nuclear program of Iran. That's fine. You said you don't want anything from this country. What do you mean by that? We can handle it. We've had a lot of ups and downs in our, in our history. And this is, unfortunately, one of the down ones. There is a price to be paid. I'm sorry that the price is being paid, but I'm sure it's, it'll be fine. So you think that the country, the Iranians within the country themselves, can fix the situation? Yeah, definitely. Tomorrow we're going to be at some more protests, first at the Brooklyn Bridge early in the morning, followed by a protest here in front of the UN. And of course we're going to bring you all the news as it unfolds. I'll see you then.